Imagine fitting a full gaming setup, work desk and bed all into just 10 square meters. That's the challenge my friend faced after moving back into his childhood bedroom. After being married for a couple of years, life took an unexpected turn and now is back into his childhood bedroom that needs to fit a workspace, gaming setup and bed. He reached out to me because he needed this to be a space to accommodate all of these things. Every piece in this space has to be carefully selected and arranged to enhance how it works and games while making the most of the limited space available. The biggest challenge here is fitting all these elements into just 10 square meters while ensuring the space remains organized and aesthetically pleasing. And also we need to include ample storage for his clothes and collectibles he loves. So given the circumstances, I couldn't resist taking on this challenge to help my friend out during this difficult time. Before we start, if you want to have your room redesigned, fill out the form in the description below for a chance to be featured in my next room transformation video. To begin, he sent me all the room measurements, which I used to create a layout in Modo, which is the 3D software I use. With the 3D models in place, I added all the details such as baseboards, windows, window trims and doors. When entering the existing space, you immediately notice how cramped and inefficiently arranged it is. One of the major issues is the large wardrobe, which takes up too much space in this already small room. Since he needs to work, game and sleep in this space, the design requirements are a bright and functional workspace for productivity, a dedicated entertainment area for gaming and watching TV, ample storage for clothes and collectibles, and a comfortable sleeping area. I decided to redesign the room using mostly IKEA furniture to ensure affordability and ease of assembly, allowing my friend to complete the project over time rather than all at once. IKEA also happens to be located near his home, so that's a plus. The first change was replacing the bulky wardrobe. I opt for the pack system with a depth of only 39 cm, maximizing storage without overwhelming the room. The first cabinet includes a hanging section for clothes, two drawers for blankets and a shoe storage area at the bottom. The second cabinet, slightly smaller, features three open shelves for books and collectibles, along with a closed shelf for additional storage. Connect to this, I added the dresser with two large drawers for extra clothing storage, doubling as a stand for his PlayStation 5 and a TV mounted above. Since the pack's wardrobe is shallower than standard wardrobes, clothes will need to be hung front-facing, as shown in the illustration. This setup allows it to fit neatly along the bed wall without interfering with the gaming area. The existing bed placement near the entrance felt awkward and inefficient. Instead, I relocated the bed to the opposite wall under the window. This allows the wardrobe storage to extend seamlessly into the bed area. And to maximize functionality, I chose a day bed that serves as both a sofa and a bed, with built-in drawers for extra bedding storage. While designing this space, I realized there's one tool that could really improve my workflow, SketchUp especially since it live syncs with Lumion, which I use for rendering, and I feel like learning it would make my workflow much smoother, instead of using Modo. And while looking for a way to get started, I found this SketchUp class on Skillshare called Learn SketchUp Pro the Right Way. It walks you through everything from setting up a project and creating groups and components properly to working with materials and textures and even exporting renderings as images or animations. Basically, it covers all the fundamentals so I can actually use SketchUp efficiently instead of fumbling my way through. Skillshare has thousands of classes for those who love 3D, design, or creative skills. You can export topics like film, illustration, animation, productivity, and more. It's an awesome platform for picking up new skills or leveling up in what you already do. And the best part, the first 500 people to use my link in the description get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So, if there's a skill you have been meaning to learn, this is a great time to dive in. Check it out in the description below. Now, for the workspace, 
I selected the corner standing desk, which is essential since my friend spends long hours working and gaming. Having the flexibility to stand throughout the day will be a huge benefit. However, for a more budget-friendly alternative, you can swap the desk for an IKEA kitchen countertop, which would still look great and serve the purpose well. The chair is from IKEA, which was his personal choice. I'll leave the links in the description so you can check it out. And to enhance the workspace, I added the desk shelf to help keeping some items hidden, a monitor arm to save desk space. I kept the baggable shelf, which he already owns for displaying collectibles, a lush plant display, since he requested plenty of greenery, bag boards for organizing gaming accessories like controllers, headsets and keyboards. And since my friend is a huge Star Wars fan, I made sure to incorporate that theme into the design. Otherwise, you will never approve of it. <laughs> and to tie everything together, I chose a rug which brings warmth and cohesiveness to the space. With all these changes, the room now has a modern and clutter-free aesthetic, while keeping most of its signature in the space. The new layout ensures efficient use of space, while the carefully selected furniture offers maximum functionality. Upon entering, you are welcomed by a sleek, organized room with a cohesive design that reflects my friend's personality and needs. Let me know in the comments what you think of this redesign. And do you want your own space transformed? Drop your details in the form below for a shot at staring in my next video. I'm really happy I could use my skills to help a friend. And if you want to start learning how to do projects like this, check out my Illumin Render course in the top right corner or in the link below. That's it for today's video. If you like this transformation, you will love my other room makeovers. Check them out in the top right corner and in the description below. And I'll see you in the next one.